What's up guys, it's John and I just wanted to start this off by saying that this concert and the crowds in Japan were something like I had never seen before and something that I feel like I was missing for a long time. So whenever I saw Nemophila in Nagoya, I did take some video of like crowd interactions and how amazing that it actually was there. It was inspiring man. I really cannot stress enough that seeing any of these bands in Japan is such a a different experience from what I would have experienced in America. We got to talk to some people while we were in line and they all said the same thing. Anybody that's from the US that has gone to a show in Japan, it is a completely different experience. So I wanted to be able to share that with you guys. Thank you all very much for clicking on this video. If you're new to my channel, it helps me out so much if you guys do hit the sub button. I will be doing a lot more reactions to Nima Phil in the future as I freaking loved this concert. It was so cool and getting to meet them was icing on the cake. I was so nervous, but y'all see that soon. Either way, thank you guys very much for clicking on this. Enjoy. Freaking swipe it. This is officially the concert day and I got an email this morning from... The marketing people of Nima Fila, and uh, they were like, hey, we'd like you to do a reaction to some of their music. And I was like, hey, I'm actually in Tokyo. Would they like to meet up or anything? And uh, she said that they've got a concert, but it's a day after I leave. And then the day after that as well, too, they're playing another place in um, Japan, but it's not in Tokyo. So it's a good trip. And uh, Jody here said, why don't you just cancel your flight back and book it for a later date? So now I am legitimately, I've I canceled my flight back and I'm gonna make that work, but I haven't actually got another place to stay yet or a return flight booked yet. So concert day, freaking wildly active day this so far. And uh, let's see what happens. So I am about to take a bullet train down from Tokyo to Nagoya and uh, Jody didn't want to come with me. She wanted to go home and see the girls, which I totally get that. So it's just gonna be me. I'm be heading there to Goya. I'm actually going to be meeting back up with Flowers and Jake. And um, yeah, so we're going to be taking a bullet train. I'm freaking stoked. I've never taken one of those before. So anyway, here we go. Let's do this freaking bullet train to Nagoya. Okay, so I got a bento box. And now we're going to go chill on the freaking train. Wait for it to get here. And uh, yeah, 15. I'm stoked. Bullet train in God. Nagoya. We freaking did it. She slept. I drank. What about you? I drank too. <laughs> yeah. It was a great time. It was pretty fun. And also, I guess the Mount Fuji. It was really cool. I've been wanting to see that the whole time. But now we did. But anyway, heading to the hotel. Let's freaking do this. Heavy suitcase. Couple flight of stairs. This is why we worked out, Pam. This is why we worked out. Okay, checked in, and dude, the guy at the front spoke English like really well. And whenever I was like, dude, you speak great English, he like blushed. He was freaking out about it, but I was like, you speak really good English. He was like, thank you, thank you. So that was awesome. Either way, here we go, checking out the room. Okay, not gonna lie, this one's way bigger than the other hotel, but there's only one pillow, dang it, why? Now we're gonna go watch a metal show in Nagoya. We're on the guest list, how weird is that? I don't even understand what is going on in my life right now. The fact that we're on the guest list now for a freaking concert, totally different country, blowing my freaking mind. I'm just a dude from Nashville, out here trying to spread some positivity. Okay, so funny story. I'm supposed to be meeting Jake at the uh, Fukashi Station, I think is what this one's called. But, the station's freaking huge, and I have no clue where we're supposed to be meeting at. And his phone doesn't work, so, double sucks. But, we're heading to go see Nimophila, and uh, it's actually gonna be down that road. Shouldn't take us too long to get there once we do meet up, but it's gonna take us a little while to meet up, I think, because we don't know where we're going. So, there's that. 
We are finally here at the freaking concert. And so there's pumped. A huge line outside. So pretty stoked. Yeah. But uh, I don't really know where we're supposed to go yet. Uh, yeah, there's supposed to be like a sign that says yes or something. So we're looking for the sign. Fingers crossed, homies. I don't know how early we should get in there, but there is a massive line. I'm gonna show you guys the line. I can probably film while I'm in there, but I can't. Um, I can't show the video on YouTube. But they said maybe, like if I wanted to do like a montage or something like that. Dude, I love this. Uh, no, not yet. I actually have no idea. Okay. Dude, no freaking way. How's it going, man? How are you? Okay, so, dude, what song are you looking forward to playing? Oh, dude, um, probably Revive. Revive? Yeah. Hell yeah. Because I've been banging that one, yeah. like, a lot. That's what you're I'm saying. Really yeah, you said, like, on the way up here, you were uh, listening to them, actually, just, like, unrelated. And then yeah, we get yeah. an email, and they're like, yeah, they're playing a show. Yeah, on my plane ride, I was listening to them, because I'm trying to, I don't really, I think it's because I live in Japan, like, mm -hmm. my Spotify will automatically recommend bands. Yeah. So I found them, like, a couple months ago. Yeah, yeah. And then, lo and behold, you get the email, I'm like, Rain knows. Yeah, dude. But for real, thank you very much for the opportunity to come to the show. We're waiting to get in right now, and uh, I don't know. I'm really excited about it. Yeah, yeah. I'm freaking so. Chew like, high sipping. Chew high sipping. <laughs> and we had a family chickies. Yeah, so, so we're, we're loaded and ready to go, dude. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We'll catch you guys in there. And I'm also going to try to interview a couple people. Randomly, in Shibuya, I was like, man, I really want to go to a metal concert here. Like a metal concert yeah. in Tokyo. And then it randomly just worked out. So mm -hmm. this trip has been freaking wild. It's been great. Hell yeah. We'll catch you guys in there. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. The line is actually much longer than I originally thought. We just found out that the line goes all the way up here. This is gonna be a massive show. <laughs> a massive show. Did you come here for this concert? Uh, I came here for um, this band made. Um, oh, the band made? Oh, God, yeah. yes. Uh, got to expand uh, oh, yeah. Asterism mm -hmm. and Miyako from Love Bites from Piano Shop. Oh, no way. That's awesome. You're doing the tour? You're yeah. just doing the tour. I've been here for two weeks. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. I did it about the same time you did. Yeah. Hell yeah. Well, dude, that show also, like, I just was at the Tokyo Dome, and this show had just as much energy. It's wild how much energy was in this crowd. That was freaking nuts. Yeah, that was, yeah, compared to the United States, it was yes. way, way more energy. Nashville shows have been, like, so disappointing, and the crowd here was wild. Dude, that's what we were saying. Like, the freaking crowd is insane. I've never seen, like, a celebration after the concert, so it's yeah. real yeah. and and there's like dudes in business suits here. Like there's all age demographics. I freaking love seeing this. Metal scene in freaking Japan is wild. Hell yeah. Well dude, again, thank you very much, man. It was amazing meeting you, man. I'm filming. <laughs> I'm totally, I'm filming now. Can you guys wait here for a second? Yeah, for sure. Okay, so we're 
So we're about to meet them. I'm freaking stoked. They just crushed absolutely one of the best concerts I've been to, especially the crowd. It was nuts. I'm nervous. Are you nervous? Dude, I'm nervous. I'm, I'm a little nervous. nervous. I'm a little nervous, dude. My hands are shaking. <laughs> Camera's just, oh. Oh. Yeah. And also, like, freaking management. Are you? Amazing dude. Freaking he's, really cool. He's dude. awesome. Yeah. Awesome guy. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Picture you okay? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. We'll just do a picture. We're just gonna do a picture, so you guys are gonna have to use your brains. So I'll just fill it in. Yeah. Okay, so I wasn't able to film myself asking them these questions, but I did get asked if they were coming to the U.S. soon, and they said hopefully so. These guys we got to meet after the concert. They came up and said that they watch our YouTube channel. Thank y'all so freaking much for saying hello to me. That was awesome. Last night in Japan, eating at a freaking mixed yeah, cantina thing, drinking some freaking what? What did you get? I got a mint chew on it. I got a freaking uh, white peach, but yeah, eating some Mexican last night in Tokyo, smashing authentic Mexican food. When in Rome, do as it happens. Cheers, peeps. <laughs> it's been a freaking crazy night. Like the day has been wild. Yeah. But yeah, we got Japanese food. I know. We, we we were just standing at the crosswalk. With holding a Nemo Filoni merch and some dudes like, I watch you. Like, what? <laughs> I know, it's pretty wild. It was pretty cool. Yeah. I'm having a crisis in my brain right now because of it. But freaking awesome. And also, cheers to meeting you, dude. It's been really fun hanging out. It's been awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Right. We need some food. I'll take some pictures and uh, yeah. Yep. Nice. If you guys made it this far in this video, I just wanted to say this crowd was one of the wildest crowds I've ever seen at a metal show. It was very packed in. This was a sold out concert and there was a wall of death in a very small little place. The entire time that she was having the crowd participate, like any time the crowd could participate in the music, they were doing so. And I don't know if that's because people don't have their cell phones, whereas in America, we're always trying to film in a concert. So you're more inclined to interact with it or what it is. I have no clue what the difference is, but I think one cool thing about that was while I was in Japan, there was a lot of times where I felt kind of like a fish out of water. There was often times where I would either get kind of like odd looks or I wasn't able to speak and communicate with people in the way that I want to. I'm learning Japanese now and I definitely plan on going back and hopefully being able to speak Japanese will help me out of that situation. But there was numerous times where I felt like I just was kind of like a fish out of water in Japan. Both concerts that I went to while I was there, I felt like I was at home like that was the bridge for the language barrier, for the culture barriers, all those different things. Music really unites people. And I think it was so cool. After the concert especially, everybody's kind of on that like post-concert high. We're all freaking excited. And somebody screamed across the street, YouTube, and came over and talked to us. And we got a picture with them. And it was awesome. Like they did not speak a lot of English. I obviously do not speak a lot of Japanese, but we were able to like have that conversation, have really cool moments while I was there. I got noticed and talked to by a couple of different people. And it was just really cool to be able to share our love for music, even though we might not speak the same language. It was very, very different and very eye opening. And because of that, I'm going to be doing a lot more travel vlogs where I'm going to different places and watching music and experiencing music with people and hopefully bringing a lot of people together through our musical experiences. The world is a huge place, but whenever you really start getting into these different things like different bands and how it makes all of us feel, we're a lot more connected than it seems. And that's really what I want to get through with all these travel vlogs. So thank you guys very much if you're watching this is helping me pursue that dream i don't know where i'll end up next if you guys have suggestions for concerts for me to go to drop them in the comments below and i'm going to be going anywhere and everywhere that i am able to thank you guys very much for helping me on this journey and if anybody wants to be able to help me on that even more our patreon that is literally how i'm able to do this is from the support of our patreon members and i cannot thank y'all enough for real you're helping this dude from nashville make his dreams come true and that means the world to me man so thank y'all so freaking much hope y'all are having a blessed day or night whatever time it is you're watching this if y'all need anything at all all of my socials are at john reeves live send me a message and i'll catch y'all next time
freaking toodles.